Hey everybody, it's Joe from Papa Joe Bo's. Today we're going to be doing a video that can be kind of sensitive to some people, but uh, it's good that people in Hollywood like Millie Bobby Brown are coming out and speaking about the horrible industry that Hollywood has been for children. Um, first of all, she's in Stranger Things, if you don't know, and Stranger Things is a great show. I loved it. First two seasons, 10 out, 10 out of 10. Uh, third season kind of dropped off, but not, not so much because there was woke stuff in it, but because some of the writing just wasn't as good. I'm hoping hoping season four doesn't go woke and everything goes good with that. But a lot of uh, child actors or ex-child actors are coming out and speaking out against the grossness in Hollywood. And I want to be clear about this. She's also talking about um, how people can be on social media, and she goes into both of those things here. Let's just get started. Stranger Things star Millie Bobby Brown blasts the gross sexualization she felt by Hollywood as a teen. Netflix series Stranger Things star Millie Bobby Brown, 18, blasted Hollywood for overly sexualizing young girls and calling social media the worst place of all time. So yeah, is it the worst place of all time? It's definitely one of them. It's been taken over by a lot of far-left lunatics and uh, some people on the right who are also uh, just as nasty and vile. And I don't support them either, like I've told a lot of people. And in my videos, I'm an independent. Anyway, the teen star was cast at 12 for the popular Netflix series Stranger Things, which quickly catapulted her to stardom. But as she said on the Guilty Feminist podcast on Monday, it was difficult growing up under Hollywood spotlight. Calling it gross, Brown said the way she is treated by the industry and the media can be really overwhelming. You know what? Let's just listen to it in her own words. So it can be really overwhelming. I have definitely been dealing with that more within the last two weeks of turning 18. Um, definitely uh, seeing a difference between the way people act and the way the press and social media have reacted to me becoming of age. So the fact that she just said becoming of age, that should give you the creeps if somebody out there is looking at your daughter like that. And it clearly gives her the creeps as she goes on. Um, you know, in my life, I believe, and I, my opinion, I believe that that shouldn't change anything. But um, it's gross, and it's... It's gross. It is. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. I don't give a crap, dude. If you're doing stuff like this, waiting for someone to come of age, that's disgusting. She talks about some of the stuff in the industry and how she was made to feel, you know, overly sexualized. As a child, the grooming was starting there. Again, she's talking about Hollywood. I believe it is a lot worse in Hollywood, but it's it's everywhere. And I'm glad that she has the courage to come out and talk about this stuff. It's important stuff to talk about. And it's, it's good to see them. And I say them because there's a lot of uh, actors and actresses coming out who are talking about the bad stuff that happened in Hollywood. And I don't care where they're talking about it. Yeah, expose it. This is what we want to get rid of true and so i think it's just a very good representation of what's going on in the world and how young girls are sexualized um and so i have been dealing with that and but have also been dealing with that for forever i mean yeah. you know i once i was like oh, going on a red carpet i thought oh my god i'm gonna do just a little low just like a little bit lower because mm -hmm. i always just did these poofy dresses and i live i loved it and i lived for it but I was like 16 and I was like, mom, dad, can I please wear to like to this award show? Like just a little bit, little bit. Mm. And I so she had her parents watching out for her. That's why, you know, probably some bad things didn't happen to her that have happened to other, many other kids and people and women and men there. And the last thing I want to uh, read you from her is this. There are moments I get frustrated from the inaccuracy, inappropriate comments sexualization and unnecessary insults that ultimately have re resulted in pain and insecurity for me. Uh, she wrote that in an Instagram post when she turned 16 in 2020. But not ever will I be defeated. I'll continue doing what I love and spreading the message in order to make change. Good for her. Look, if you're involved in this in any way, stop. Go get some help for it. I can't applaud her enough for coming out and exposing this stuff. Keep doing it. I don't care if it's on social media. I don't care where it's at. This is good stuff. I'm proud of her, and I'm glad she did this. I'm Joe from Papa Joe Bo's. Peace. Mm -hmm.